Okay, so I make short films, and um, this is my tripod here. And I use this Audio Technica shotgun mic. It works really great. Um, it plugs into my camera, and I have this little mount here. This will plug into um, my C stand. Clips right on to the microphone, and this works really, really great. Except for in my films, I like to do a lot of handheld shots, and um, it's usually just me and maybe two other people who are acting, so I don't have a, uh, a mic holder, someone to hold the mic for me. So I'm either fumbling, holding the tripod in one hand, which is quite heavy since I have weights on the bottom of it to keep the footage smooth, and then this um, microphone the other, and the cord will sometimes bump my arm, and you get that annoying bump in the, the sound. It's just not good, and it gets confusing. So I thought, since I'm not using a DSLR camera, there's not like a microphone mount on the camera, I would create a mount that would clip onto my tripod right here that would hold the mic. And we're gonna use my 3D printer to 3D print it and make it. And uh, so yeah, so let's hop over to Onshape and uh, start designing. So this just came off the print bed. No, now it's off the print bed. Wow, my bed was not level at all, but whatever. So this is the my whoa, this might be a bit too flimsy. We'll see what happens though. This one is fine though. Um notice there are two separate pieces. That is intentional, they did not break. Um I realized they would have to be at a 90 degree angle of each other, and I was too lazy to design it that way, so I just I'm just gonna glue them together. It does fit. Could be a bit tighter, but it does fit. I might have to reprint this piece. I think this piece will be fine. I might bend it a little bit, but for the most part, I think this piece is fine. The tolerances are correct. I think the walls just need to be a bit thicker, but I think the tolerances are correct. So, anyway, we'll see. Okay, so next day, and I adjust the file some, increased the, the uh, thickness of the walls. I printed both pieces because both pieces were too thin, so this is what I got. No, I printed these way too fast and over extrusion, so just because that way they'd be super, super strong. And it was a little too hot too, so this is not a very good quality print, but it is a very strong print. So, um, so yeah, so this uh, this is actually for the tripod. This is the one that clips right on to, the, and that works really, really well. And then this piece will clip on like that, really strong. So the glue isn't fully cured, but it's enough for what I want. So let's go ahead and snap that on there, and get the mic. And snap the mic in, and looky there, that works perfectly. Well, there we go. Now I can go around and do all of my handheld shots in my films, and my microphone will be pointed the correct direction without the need of using a microphone stand. This is one of the reasons why I enjoy 3D printing so much, because you can use it to solve problems you otherwise couldn't have done, or you had to order something with. This, it's costing like 30 cents to print that piece, and maybe a little bit of time, and I have a decently strong piece that will hold my microphone on exactly how I like it. No ordering required. I'm Josiah. Thanks for watching.